Hey guys, Joyce and Anthony, aka JJ. Last spring, when it came to Blender, I honestly felt like I plateaued. In early March, I went to Google and I searched for Blender courses, and one of the first courses that appeared was this Blender short course class by Root Story Academy. I saw it was going to be taught by Lucas, who I think is an amazing 2D and 3D Blender artist, so I was hooked right away. I signed up for the advanced grease pencil class and I was really hoping that this class, this course, would help me get out of this funk that I felt like I was in. My other instructor was Matt, who is an experienced film director, and this is just a little bit of his reel. After officially signing up for the class, one of my first assignments was to pitch three stories. We were going to work on this story throughout the course. The first was Western themed. I'm from Texas, so I was thinking of something satirical. Yeah. Uh, the second was something that affects students in the US, student debt, and the third was something that was dominating the news at the time and that was about Ukraine, maybe following the story of somebody who's leaving or staying during war. After discussing it further, we decided to go with the Ukraine story and we spent, well me and Matt spent the next three weeks working on the script and the beat board. Matt knew Layla and Layla was kind enough to share her story with me after just recently at the time leaving Ukraine and her story was the basis of my animation. This is the first edit of the script outline that Matt and I worked on. And here is the script outline. I was just so thankful to both of the mentors for being so patient with me because this was my first time ever doing this. And this is my first rough, rough draft of my beat board. They help me with thinking about the small details of the animation because in this beat board, uh, this is my second revised beat board. If you look at frame number two, she's laying on her left side, but the way that I drew it, I made her reach for her phone with her left hand, but Matt asked me, how does this make sense? Which is a good point. If she's laying on her left side, she would actually be reaching for the phone with her right hand. So there's just little things like that that I needed to think more strategically about. After those first couple weeks were over, I moved to work more predominantly with Lucas, who was helping me with the blender side of drawing and animating. I had to transition from just doing, you know, black and white beat boards to concept art. The concept art was a mixture of Procreate and the grease pencil and blender. I just needed to continue to practice drawing Layla at different angles and practice drawing something that I struggle with, which is architecture and landscapes. As I was drawing more concept art, if you look at frame 27, this is the scene where her family and her neighbors are leaving in a car to drive to a bus to leave Ukraine. And I was asked, why is she like out the window like that? Is she looking up at a plane? What, what What's going on? And I, no, she's not looking at a plane. So I had to kind of go back to the drawing board and make it look more realistic. Again, the second one, they're like, no, let's just have her more in the car looking out that the third one no so finally i drew her just kind of sitting in the car um you know looking sad looking out the window because that fit the story better than her perched out looking up plain bird superman who is it no one as i'm working on my concept art i'm also working and finishing my animatic and this was completely drawn with the grease pencil and blender I realized as I was watching this, oh, I forgot to change her hand again. She's supposed to be holding the phone with her right hand. Okay. 
One of my last homework assignments was, you know, to assist me with animating. It's to just do a simple 3D model of what her room would look like. As the class was coming to an end, again, this was a five month course from March to July. We went over everything. The script was done. My beat board was done. My animatic was done. I knew exactly what I had to draw. The rest was just up to me. And my original goal was to have this done in November of 2022. I remember because Matt said, you know, let me know when you finish this so we can contact Layla and she can do the voiceover. At the time, I was like, okay, cool. I'll have this done in November. So July ended, August ended. I barely touched the animation. September, October, November, nothing was done. I remember just staring at the computer and I'm like, this isn't writer's block. We have the script done. Is this artist block? Because how can it be artist block? I know exactly what I need to draw. I just hated everything I was drawing. For example, these are the tanks that I originally had for the animation and I hated it. So I scrapped it and tried to draw tanks that look a little bit more realistic. At that time, I was just second guessing myself and I, I hated that feeling. So I just took a extended break from this. As I continue working, I realize I want to add texture. Miss P, I don't want to mispronounce her name, on YouTube. She is amazing. I'm obsessed with her gritty textured animation. So I've tried to replicate that and fail in Blender. But thank goodness for Sophie. Hey Sophie, if you're watching, uh, a video she made with textures in Blender, it really helped me create that effect. I just love that like textured gritty effect. Now it is early December and I want a voiceover actress instead of just using my own voice to make it kind of feel more authentic. I went to Fiverr and I was able to find Hannah. She did a great job because not only did I want her to voice the first animation, I decided I wanted to have a Ukrainian version and I wanted her to proofread my Ukrainian script just to make sure everything was good and she did a great job of that. So it was kind of like three jobs in one. This was my first time using the service and I didn't know you had a time limit so I'm not able to write a five star review but if you're listening Hannah, you did a great job. Thank you so much. <laughs> I made a lot of mistakes but at the end of the day, I'm so grateful to my two instructors, to Layla and to you who's watching. I think deep down, I was scared if I posted the final animation to YouTube, how was it going to be perceived? Because this is a current war that's going on. So I put so much pressure on myself to make this the, the best I possibly could. And I'm proud of the project, even though I could continue to edit and tweak it forever. But it's just time to post it and move on. This is Joy San Anthony, aka JJ. Until next time.